Up for sale is a VHF power amplifier for the 2 metre band. Using two iMac 8560 power tetrodes, it comfortably runs legal limit. The 8560 is conduction cooled, so there is no need for a noisy blower fan, and the anode dissipation is limited only by the heatsink capability. It consists of three main assemblies. The power supply, which is five rack units high. The RF deck, which is eight rack units high and the metering panel, which is three rack units high. So all up, you'll need 16 rack units of space. Controls include adjustments of left bias, right bias, and grid tuning, plate tuning, antenna coupling, and antenna matching. Switches for main power, high voltage, and to enable the PTT standby line. You can meter left and right bias, plate current, and power output, both forward and reverse. Taking a look around the back, and the PSU unit is caged. The main TR relay has a UHF socket. The RF deck and metering panel easily disconnect for transport. The standby line is driven directly by an open collector output to ground, in this case, by an IC910. For the purpose of the video, I have two power meters connected up. The top one is looking at drive level from the IC910, and the bottom meter is measuring output power into a dummy load. Let's turn the IC910 RF power control all the way down. As you can see, 2 watts of FM creates 450 watts of power. The old transformer hums a little bit, and this is where you could rebuild the power supply using a modern toroidal transformer, if you were really keen. The buyer is to collect, and asking price is $400. That's less than $1 per watt.